This is KSL News at 6. Good evening. Such a sad ending today in the search for a four-year-old girl who fell into the Provo River while on a Memorial Day outing with her family. Searchers found her body near Nuns Park. This is a tragic accident, and uh, we want to bring closure to the family as quickly as we can. Tonight, we're learning more about the events that took place leading to this tragic event. A mother, her daughter, and a stranger who tried to help were all swept away by the swift-moving Provo River. Four-year-old London de Deos was with her family near Bridalville Falls when she fell into the river. The little girl, her mother Brenda, and bystander Sean Thane all died. Four other adults jumped in the river in an attempt to help save her, but they were able to get out safely. Tonight, friends of Sean Thane are remembering him for his heroic decision. New specialist Sean Modi spoke with them today. Sean Thane's father told me that he and his daughter-in-law would like to see fences and warning signs put up here along the Provo River to prevent anything like this from ever happening again. Today, friends and family are remembering Sean Thane as a hero. It was a chaotic scene when four-year-old London de Dios and her mother Brenda went into the Provo River yesterday. All these people yelling, there's a child in the water. Diana Anderson said one of the things that jumped out at her was another man, Sean Thane. He was in that water too, trying to save Brenda. They're bobbing in the water and he is trying with all his might to help her. Diana's husband tried to reach Sean as the river swept him past, but she said Sean looked like he was focused on trying to get to the others. But he was so brave and so selfless. Sean's friend said that courage didn't surprise them. Chris Vance has known Sean for years. Sean was a self-taught computer programmer who helped Chris build music software. This guy's one in a million and you can't make up a story like that and uh, that's when it really sunk in. So it didn't, didn't surprise me at all. I Sean's parents and his wife released a statement today through an online memorial fundraiser. It said, quote, Poppy and our family wish to remind parents and others to please stay away from raging water as currents are often far stronger than they appear to be. It only takes a second for tragedy to occur. We thank the Utah County Sheriff's Office and Utah Valley medical personnel for their attempts to save our Sean. We hope that more fences and warning signs can be erected to prevent further loss of lives. The Thane's father said instead of sending flowers, they asked that people make donations to the Sean Thane Memorial account at America First Credit Union. They also wanted to extend their condolences to the DiDios family. In Provo Canyon, Sean Moody, KSL 5 News. Sean, thank you.